Throughout 2020, we have been working with dozens of schools to help them to create promotional videos or virtual tour videos. When planning a school promotional video or school virtual tour video, there are many considerations that you'll want to make in order to get the best result from your school promotional video. In this video, I will explore three of the top things to consider to give you the best return on your investment. It is important to think about the content and the messages that you wish to convey. To begin, consider your school values or ethos. It's really important that your video conveys these effectively. If, for example, your school has a number of core values, you may want to build the structure of your school promotional video around these themes. Your best ambassadors are often the students themselves, so give serious thought to interviews with the students as the thread of the main video. We have a range of questions that will elicit great responses from students about what really makes your school special or unique. And it's also a good idea to hear from the head teacher or principal, as well as some of the teachers themselves. This is your chance to explain and to show what your school has to offer. When planning the cutaway shots, shots that are overlaid onto the video or audio of the interviews, it's advisable to create a list of must-have shots of facilities that the school has or features that you'd like to showcase. These can then be recorded as cutaway shots and cut to when the person speaking talks about them. You need to hold the attention of the viewer throughout the video. With this in mind, we would recommend keeping your video to a watchable length. We would recommend a video length of anywhere in the region of two to seven minutes to maintain viewer interest. Try to avoid overly long speeches by any one staff member. The temptation with a promotional video is to try and replicate exactly what you would do on open day or open evening. For example, a 20 minute talk from the head teacher or principal. This is fine for open day with a captive audience, but for an online audience, you need to keep it succinct, interesting, and encourage the viewer to take action at the end of the video. For example, requesting a prospectus or filling in an application form. Music is one of the key considerations for your school promotional video. The music chosen will subconsciously say a lot about your school, so choose your music track wisely. Remember, for online use, you need to have the license to use the music, so popular songs subject to copyright should be avoided. For obtaining music, we would recommend purchasing a license to download tracks from a source such as Artlist or Musicbed. Your school promotional video needs to sell the unique features of your school and really capture the essence of what life at your school is like. Students will always provide the best insight into this and for this reason we always encourage schools to utilise their best ambassadors, the students themselves. People will form an opinion on your school from your school promotional video. In the same way we subconsciously judge a person within a few seconds of meeting them, we form similar opinions on an institution based on their promotional video. Unfortunately, people do judge a book by its cover, or in this case, a school by its video. With this in mind, it's worth investing in a high quality video, which is good visuals and importantly, good audio. A video that's well constructed, with a narrative, and that engages your viewer. Doing a DIY video may seem like a good idea, but a poorly produced video can often do more harm than good. Death by PowerPoint is a surefire way to deter potential students and parents from applying for a place at your school. For some informal advice on how to get the best results for your promotional video, contact us today.